hello my dear students let us look to these shapes this shape is having three sides so it is triangle this shape having five sides name given to it is pentagon and this is known as octagon why because it is having the eight sides together we can call them polygons these are some common shapes which we look all around now are these the only shapes which we use well we also use these kind of shapes these are also closed as these these are also made up of line segments as these shapes these all are two dimensional so together these all are known as polygons because what is a polygon a polygon is a closed figure which is made up of line segments now can you see is there any difference between these two types of polygons so yes and according to this difference the name given to these polygons is convex polygons and name given to these concave polygons and in today's video we going to learn about these polygons only and we use different different properties to learn about them and in the end i'm going to tell you a trick also to remember that which one is convex and which one is concave polygon so let us start discussing the very first property and the first property is all interior angles measures less than 180 degree in a convex polygon you can see i have marked all the angles here the black color these all angles which are marked by me are less than 180 degree so this polygon is a convex polygon and in this polygon you can see i have marked all but 1 2 3 4 5 these are less than 180 degree the measure of these angles are less than 180 degree but the measure of these two angles are more than 180 degree but less than 360 these are known as reflex angles so if in a polygon at least one interior angle is reflex that polygon is known as concave so you can see there are two in angles which are reflex here so this is concave polygon now let us start discuss the second property in the second property we going to learn about the polygons that a polygon in which all the vertices points outwards if all the vertices points outwards is known as convex you, how you can see you can just copy like this means you can just make the vertices again and you can put an arrow towards like this so if all the vertices are pointing outwards that is convex so this is convex now you can see about this also i have make the vertices again means with the arrows and in this there are total four vertices and three are pointing out but outwards but one is pointing inwards so this type of polygon is known as concave because if one even a single vertex if points inwards that is a concave polygon so now let us discuss the third property now you can see i have produced all the sides in these both the polygons if in a polygon if the sides on producing never enter the polygon in which polygon never enter here entering so in this polygon no side is entering in the interior so that type of polygon is known as convex and the polygon where after producing two or more sides two or more sides entering the polygon so that type of polygon is known as concave you might be thinking i have changed the column so that i have done deliberately just to judge you that you are you may think or maybe you know you can't so just to practice now let us look to the next property for the next property we should know what is a diagonal a diagonal is a line segment 
that is made by joining two known adjacent vertices you can see i have joined this and this these both vertices are known adjacent so whenever you join the known adjacent vertices we form a diagonal but only a line segment we need to draw so the property is if all the diagonals form inside the polygon all the possible diagonals then that type of polygon is known as convex so i have not drawn all the diagonals here but to make you understand i have joined through only one vertex i have drawn the diagonals with one vertex only so this type of polygon where all the diagonals are forming inside is known as convex polygon but whereas you can see i have joined the diagonals i have made the diagonals using this vertex and here these three diagonals are forming inside but you can see this diagonal is outside this is also outside yes but it is a diagonal why because i have joined the non adjacent vertices with a straight line so it is concave polygon so these are the four properties which we have discussed now time to tell you the trick to remember so what is the trick you might have heard about a cave a cave you can see this and consider it as a cave and this is the entrance of the cave and if you enter the cave it is always the entrance is towards the inwards so that type of polygon if it you found the entrance is and inside then that is known as concave because the k word is here so you can remember with this trick and the other one but obvious will be a convex polygon now let us do a quick recap of the properties which are really important now we have discussed these four properties and the very first what we have discussed all interior angles measure less than 180 degree all interior angles measures less than 180 degree in a convex at least one interior angle is reflex angle so here you can see these two are reflex all vertices points outwards here all vertices point outwards one or more vertices point inwards here we have discussed one point which is pointing inwards the sides on producing never enter the polygon in this never entering the polygon so means convex after producing two or more sides enter the polygon so you can see here the sides are entering so it is concave last but not the least all the diagonals form inside the polygon so all the diagonals form inside the polygon is convex and if one or more diagonal form outside then that polygon is concave so this is concave because the diagonal is forming outside so this is all about the convex and concave polygons i hope you all really enjoyed the video